All right, welcome aboard, guys. So we put in our, I, I put in Volante Beach bungalows as our destination. Um, how far is that? 8.9 miles. We bought our uh, Mountain Dew. I mean, they had a bunch of Mountain Dews that were green, which is not my favorite. They only had one line of uh, Code Reds. But if you're going to go racing, you got to have Mountain Dew, dude. All right, so you're recording. My destination is set. We're going to take off and get going. So I had to select the alternate route to go down Lime Creek. And that's done. Let's go. Speed limit, 40 miles an hour. 10, 7 through 10, 11. Road closures. Oh, that's in the morning. All right. So we'll go down to the bungalows, which is just short of the intersection with 2769. It was the alternative view to use in the resort Although I'm pretty sure they just went out of business and um, they've renamed, somebody bought it and renamed it. And that's what I'm saying. This is not going to be very exciting speed wise, <laughs> right? Speed limit's 40, I'm doing 40, which actually means I'm doing 39. What? Yes, we can bump it one. That means we'll be doing 40. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I've, I found it, find it curious that a lot of, uh, at least American cars, report one mile an hour faster than you're actually going. And once you get used to that fact, you do this. You bump it up a mile an hour. But it surprised me that Tesla has that mode. But whatever, okay. Let's see, so it'll be a 15 minute drive at 40 miles an hour. And as it turns out, there was a Dodge, Dodge Charger that was leaving more or less the same time I was. But I was I was doing the introductory with you guys. So this video will go up as just Lime Creek. Okay, Tesla FSD takes on Lime Creek Road, Austin, Texas. Not that it should be amazing that it does it. I mean, I'd be stunned if anything happens. That's not even slowing down going around the, these curves. That is pretty amazing, actually, isn't it? But I do have the Dodge Charger who's staying behind me, pushing me. So to speak, that's the way you look at it from an FST perspective. Oh, we slow down 38. And I have a feeling I've been on this road in recent memory and I was just like okay what's on this road I just drove down it and I wasn't very impressed I mean it's slightly uncomfortable feeling these drop offs that we're going through right now but not really a big deal I mean this is a country road that's what it's meant to be um, and we're, we're on the uh, limestone hills of uh, West Austin. So going up and down is not unusual. And this being a s small, it's not a county road, because as a name, 
down to 24. Oh, Mr. Ram's having a hard time. So we've called out several Ram pickups today. It's funny when when you're not really not your point. My point is not to find <laughs> ice comparison vehicles. So FSD's finally gotten into oh wait this road's too curvy. And so we, we've had a couple where it looks okay and then all of a sudden it kind of drops. Is it really bad? No. But if you're used to flat driving, it's a shock. And I live in Lago Vista, so I'm used to going up and down hills, but usually not to this extreme. And now we're stuck in 34 for life, oh, okay. Sorry, it calls for more uh, code red. Mountain Dew, do the dude, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, a lot of this, there's no uh, safe place to pull over. At least not in the Model 3. On the other hand, if you're road racing a motorcycle, I can see it. I mean, for the most part, there's no place for traffic to come out from. down to 24 and then speeding back up so I guess Tesla feels his or FSD feels his ears burning like I say he's going way too slow and so he's starting to speed out of the curves where he sees a straight line but like when you go into this curve you can't really tell where is it going <laughs> Yeehaw! Road racing, baby. <laughs> well, it's going faster than my bicycle. I could do it on my bicycle. Well, some of those downhills I could go faster, yes. Road work is ahead. Construction entrance, 15 miles an hour. Be prepared to stop. Okay, foot above the brake. There's a flagger ahead. And uh, looks like he's taking a break. What is this? Is this a park? Yeah, this is the park. Okay, Sandy Creek Park. Travis County Park. So they're doing something over here at the park. Whoa. Are they working on the water plant? If, if I understand it right, this is a, a water plant, I guess. Oh, they got some docks down there too. End of road work. Okay, well, so we're free of that. And we're all the way up. Oh, we're back down. We were up to 38 for a second there. Okay, welcome to Volente. Population of 600? Wow.
but I'm guessing it'd be hard to find a place to live here. That's not true. I when I was looking before. Uh, uh, let's not run off the road, huh? All right. So he was really close to running off the road. And it's probably just more the driver feeling uncomfortable about it. But he was definitely pretty close. And you know, once you slip off the road there, you're done. We got a squirrel. Okay. Oh, goodness. Kind of crossed the double yellows. No trespassing. Okie dokie. So, yes, sir, Bob, FSD is not all that comfortable. Oh, like I said, if he sees a straight line, feels comfortable about it, he's going to go. But as soon as he sees the curve, if he sees the road disappearing, he's slowing down, which sounds appropriate. Check 512. down to 30 but we're going around a curve oh my goodness gracious great balls fire elect rough what oh city council in a town of 500 people <laughs> I don't know man oh so going back when I was looking for a house I did find a few places in Valente, although they sound like shacks in some corner, that were a reasonable price. But I couldn't really bring myself to think about living in Valente. I mean, living in a, a rich man's area doesn't appeal to me, so to speak. That's the same thing with, with um, I forgot the name of it, it's been so long. Anyway, if you go all the way out Lomans Ford, or Loman Ford, that to the town that's down there, it's not really a rich man's place, but it's a mixed place. Beauregard. Sherman. But yeah, look at look at these houses. Like yeah, these are these are fancy dude houses. Um. Oh, so we're almost down to twenty six, uh, twenty seven six nine. One mile ago. So I was saying, I, I find it hard to believe that this is part of those road race guys thing or canyon carving thing. But I have a feeling these guys don't have a cop either, do they? I mean, if they only have 500 people. Even if they have reasonable money. On the other hand, I would tend to think people around here are treated like King's Ranch. Or King Ranch, sorry. What? You haven't heard about King Ranch? King Ranch is you tra trespass on their land, 
and they find you, nobody's going to know you were there. Right? Nobody's going to know you were there. They're going to shoot you. They're going to bury you in the middle of no place. You didn't exist. How true that is, I don't know, but that's one of the things we always heard when I was younger. Turn left onto farm to market 2769. Oh, I'm actually going to turn on to 2769? There's Valente Beach. Now turn left onto farm to market 2769. Oh, it's just, oh, water park. Okay. All right. Let's pull up. Welcome to Valente Beach. Enter here. Um... I have a feeling I should have parked there. Now turn left onto Mary Street. Sorry, I'm just looking for a place where I can pull over and be reasonably out of the way. And I don't think this is quite it, but this is where I'm going to pull over anyway. All right, so where are we? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Debbie Drive. Trips. Okay, nine miles, 16 minutes. Whoa, 158 watt hours per mile? Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> okay, nine miles, 17 minutes, which is horribly slow, I'm sure, to some of you guys. But it's 158 watt hours per mile, which means we were dropping most of the time. Yes, sirree. All right, there you go. That's our, that's our uh, Lime Creek experience.